And we're back with more Breath of Fire 3. Got it right this time. Ryu and Tipo are on their lonesome. I made sure to save before I got here, but we are on the road to Mount Gloss. We're looking for Ray, who was tasked by Bunyan to just go there and probably do something. So reprisal is counter. There's a hidden gauge, and every once in a while, a, char a character will hit. Certain characters have higher reprisal rates than others. You can even sometimes get a critical hit there. But this episode is going to be all about getting Ryu and Tipo ready for the mountain. Because they need some levels, and they need some equipment. Because I don't think they're going to be able to handle the enemies here, much less on the mountain. Stuff in the mountain's not so bad. But thankfully, this is one of those games where you actually get money. Yeah, look at that. I'm already run out of this, of AP here, so... Thankfully, there are some enemies here that are more amenable than others. So, let's do that thing. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, ha ha. Ow. Ow. So again, this is why you want levels early, even though it's a good idea to get as many levels with Masters as possible. Oh. Oh. So I'm going to bother with that in a minute, but that's one of those contextual clues. Given that this place is full of random encounters, I don't trust myself to survive long enough, even if I did grab the treasure that's back there. Gong head! He's annoying. Ow! That also hits kind of hard. So yeah, he'll probably be the last enemy I deal with. Giant growth! Uh-oh. Ow! Hey, that's an actual skill I might like. It's AoE attack. It's pretty neat, actually. I can probably get it later. Ow! But the, be the best thing is, is there are skills you can get from enemies alongside the stuff that you already make. So this, this area might take me a try or two. You can also stop in a... I could show that off once I heal. If you ever need extra seasoning... And you want to fight enemies that are usually weaker than the stuff in a dungeon. While you're on the mini-map, you can take heed of battlefields. I do thematically like the idea that Tipo is the lead party member. Yeah, you can always have Ryu in front, but... Seriously, you think Ryu at this point in the game wants... To just stay in front? I wouldn't say that. But yes, oh. If you see an exclamation point over your character, like so. go into a battlefield. And there are usually weaker enemies than... usually weaker than the enemies in the dungeon. Or the pathway. Not always the case, but usually is the case. And these guys need some help. They're level 2! Yay! Or level 3! Yay! So, HP, AP, so simple, power, and defense, agility, and intelligence, yay. And a healing herb, yay. So, a vitamin is 100 HP. Ooh, ooh, 
free stuff. That's cool. So you, there's always an item in a battlefield. Sometimes they're meh. But other times, you get this for free. Yay! And you've got defense, you've got power, intelligence. Agility is determined by weight. So your characters gain agility, but you also get encumbered. So the heavier uh, piece of weaponry your defense is, and there's Ryu's skill. Get some money. Cool. So he can kill the. He can beat up the shrubs. Tipo can hit the trees. And a mage goo. Uh oh. Ow. That kind of sucked. But yes, this is. Um, I'm not going to be doing as much off-screen stuff unless it's purely grinding, but there aren't going to be many cases where I'm going to need to do that. This game is pretty fair when it comes to difficulty. And unless it's a specific boss who's just completely absurd for that part of the game, which usually doesn't happen that often, you're never going to need to grind, but I had the extra time and I had the extra need and it helps show off the battle system a bit more. And you know, just the mechanics of it. It also gets me a chance to kind of explain a few things. But yes, we know Ryu is a dragon, but he doesn't use the skill. There's a reason for that. Right now, he's a humanoid boy. There's a plot reason for that. But let that be known that that's a thing he will do eventually. But in battle, you fight enemies on the screen. They have unique abilities. Sometimes you can use the examine function to gain that skill. And let's see if I can show off the abilities here. We've got flare, we've got heal. So attack is simple. It's attack person. Skill is what happens when you examine a foe. You'll gain that skill. And you can pass it to other people if you don't feel that person wants it. Healing or assistance. So let's try Flare. Cool thing I find is that there's not really any voice acting in the game, but there's like little sound clips. Which at least adds to some level of immersion. But yeah, this episode's all about getting them prepped for Mount Gloss. Can I get through Mount Gloss in one go? That's good. Uh, that would be a good kind of overall stopping point, honestly, because it's our first major dungeon. But you, you, I don't know. Again, I have to get through this area first. I would like to get another level, at least. But if that ends up being too much, then I can always stop. There, there's, you know, there's that um, the ingrained situation where you always want to make progress, but oh, this guy you want to keep asleep. Just keep him asleep. Just, just, just do it. This guy's the toughest enemy in the area by far. Do not let him wake up. Do not let him wake up. Or do enough damage that he won't wake up. Or if he does, he's already in trouble. So this should help. Gain some much needed experience. This is the sort of thing I did not want to fight in the other area. Yay! See, look at that. Lots of experience and a pointed stick! But... Yeah, this is the edge of the area. All you gotta do is leave the area and you're done. Um, but again, that's that's the situation you find yourself in. You always want to make progress and you always want to kind of make... I always have, like... When I started Final Fantasy VI, I always kind of had in my mind, like, everything is a specific episode, I guess. Because that's really what you're doing in YouTube land. If you're not making a self-contained, you know, information video, you're making 
episodic content. This is what that's considered. And to me, I don't like making cliffhangers that much. I like if I can get a dungeon done in one go, I can get a dungeon gun in, done in one go. Gungeon done. Gungeon gun. <laughs> but yes, I'm getting hurt. Man. Ow. Man! Oh, it's bad. Okay, good. He hit Tifo. Alright, that took him out. Took him... Oh, God. Well, that, oh, that worked. Wow, that worked out way better than I was hoping it would. All right. Well, good. Okay, we'll take our spoils here. But yeah, I like making everything self-contained, right? I don't like overdoing an episode in length. I don't like making anything like an hour, you know, 45 minutes. The, the There were like two episodes of the Final Fantasy VI playthrough that ended up being like 40 minutes. The rest were like 25 to 30, sometimes 15 to 20. And I like, honestly, like that. I like 15 to 20. They're easy, they're digestible, they're fun. You know, they don't really require too much effort. 30 minutes is going to be that kind of buffer zone, I think, where it's the expectation for a game like this, which is going to be honestly longer than Final Fantasy VI. But again, it's like. Do I want to make an hour-long video? No. To me, I always kind of consider, like, how much time do I have? I have, like, a three- to four-hour window every, you know, two days a week to get eight episodes done, and that's, you know, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, something around there. And to me, I always try to think, where do I go? What do I do? What can I get done? In a game like this, which doesn't have as much side questy and more straightforward dungeons, it's probably going to be more, we're in a dungeon for two or three episodes, or we're going to grind for an episode. So if I do have to make an episode about fighting and leveling up and getting abilities, then that happens. Mostly due to scheduling rather than choice, I think. Final Fantasy VI made it interesting because the World of Ruin had shorter digestible parts in like 10 or 15 different areas and all these things you're finding people and doing things. This this game less so. It's very straightforward. Hey! Instead of running around all day getting into trouble, why don't you give people a hand some time? I'm a boo-hoo and you. Oh, man. <sighs> so I'm thinking... Ugh. So, yeah, I think you're going to have to go with the cheaper stuff for now. Just to have something to go by. Okay, that, I mean that'll that'll do for now. You're gonna want the better stuff, but at the same time, you're not gonna be going anywhere for a while. So you should be alright. Let's see if we can make it through. We're a little higher leveled, we got a little bit more equipment. Still gonna be a problem, but this area's kinda short. If we fight the man traps, that's gonna be a problem!
Way to use all my MP or AP on, on this, but okay. At least now I know I don't need three flares. I can use two. And... All right. I should be good. Or not. <laughs> oh, that, that uh, didn't work out so well. So that'll cure... That's basically antidote. Gained intelligence, gained frost. Okay. It's so already kind of seeing a little bit of a difference. Tipo is a little bit more magic oriented. Ryu is more physical, but not that much. Their stat base is fairly similar. Ray is the one who's bent towards agility and attack. But again, that's why the master system is so unique, is that you get that chance to do that. To build them the way you want to build them and give them the skills you want. So if you wanted to make Ryu or Tipo a, mag a magic user, or just a plain unmovable, unstopping tank, you could do both. A weather vane. Okay, that's a high level... Um, Wind spell as an item, I guess. Let's see if I can get out of here. These guys aren't that bad. They're faster, but ow. What helps is getting reprisals. That's That always helps. So now Ryu gets three um, healing spells. So I don't have to use any of the healing herbs. Good. Attack Tipo once in a while. Berries don't mean much, so I can use them. Can't really sell them for anything. Can't really do anything for them. They're cheap. And Weather Vane will do pretty decent wind damage. Especially for this point of the game. It's basically the Typhoon spell. Okay, a vitamin. Handy. <laughs> 120 zenny. I kind of needed that. <gasps> Ooh. This might be a problem. Ow. That didn't work. Okay, anything that misses me is good. Okay. Ow. So the cool thing is every spell has a different sound effect because I think it's based on... The Japanese form of the phrase, or a uh, game-specific language that they're using. I'm still thinking it's probably Japanese, but who knows? I've never been able to figure that out. Maybe somebody will be able to answer that. But again, that's one of the unique features of it, is they don't really have voice acting, but they have stuff. They have sound effects that add to the ambiance a little bit. Okay, so can I get out of here? So nothing down there. Okay, good. Huge. Get rid of the gong head, I guess. Ow. Blind? No! Blind actually does kind of work in this game. Damn it. Ow. 
all this fails, I could use that weather vane. I didn't do the near as much damage as I was hoping it would. Stop pecking at me! There, so you can still hit him. Oh, this is fun. And it goes away after battle, thank god. Oh, I wanted to go this way, damn it. <laughs> yeah, if you give it a running start, you can kick them a little bit further. I want to go! I'm almost done with this area. Is this the prevailing theory of do you go for the hardest one, or do you get rid of the mob? Well, if you hit a crit, you can get rid of the big one first. And then you get rid of the other one. But, uh, I play D&D &D a lot, and the logic can be you rather use your skills to get rid of an enemy first before you even need to heal and then just heal after a battle. That's a decent strategy to go by in turn-based games, I think. It works fine. I mean, in a boss battle or a harder fight, you can't really can't really choose. A coin? That will become useful very a little later. But we made it. Thank God. Okay. So that will do. I was able to get rid of this, and next time, we're right on track for Mount Gloss. So I'll go off screen a little bit, grab some. a rough mountain. Cool. I have the uh, uh, money for Balak knives now. Or br actually, Bronze Sword and give the other one a Balak knife. That'll, that'll work. So let's save it. Yeah, I've got a I've got a Balak knife, but I can use a bronze sword. Yeah, buy the bron bronze sword. That'll be a good play. So let's save it. And I'll see you guys next time.